Hello everyone, Classic Duff here, and welcome to episode 1 of MC Eternal. And we are starting in the Tween Lanes, and we have a horrible, horrible spawn location. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't know how this is going to go. Uh, man, still the guy. If we can just... Oh, nice bit, of, nice bit of lag. We've spawned right next to a dungeon, which is cool. But... Yep. Yep. Oh, now there's three of them. Okay. Alright. Uh, so we're playing. Uh, the <laughs> oh, now we're going to be spawned on. Alright. We're up to a great start. Things are going well. Oh, oh that's tar, so that's alright. I mean, I mean, I'll take that. I'm gonna kill one. I'm doing good. I'm beaten a sludge to death with a piece of paper. We got revenge. All right, and another one. We're getting there. Well, uh, as you as you can see, we're not starting in your usual uh, Minecraft dimension. Uh, normally, you don't start here in the MC Eternal mod pack, but I thought I'd try something different, because, you know, that's fun. Um, it is a dungeon. We are not going to go anywhere near that, just quite at the moment. <laughs> I think we're just going to run away. Run away, run away over here. To the nice area of the swamp, where there's a nice, nice zombie. Uh, swamp egg, sexual line. Just chilling over there. I think we want to get away from being right beside him. Oh, nice battle towers for me. We'll, we'll stay away from that as well. Alright. <laughs> ah, and another, another different biome over here. In some ways, this is a good spawn. In other ways, what is going on? Alright, and that, sometimes there is another dungeon that spawns in that biome too. That would be cool. Be really cool. All right, um, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to deal with this. This is this is gonna be an issue. Well, uh, not the start I was expecting. Uh, I was expecting something a little more, a little more relaxing. Ah, uh, but that's what you get spawning in between lanes. All right. We can throw this away, we don't need that. We can, uh, we can just pretend that, that never happened. Well, we've really spawned. This is this is like the normal biome you want to start in. Uh, this is cool to find, but we're, we're not quite quite there yet. Uh, hmm. I mean, sure. You know, why not? Let's live here. What could possibly go wrong? I mean, aside from the fact there's going to be no food nearby. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. We're going to live in this tree. Because who doesn't like living in a tree? When your other options are living outside in this one. So, uh, before I got rudely interrupted by the death, uh, we're playing the... That's not recording. The newest version of MC Eternal. The biggest change that you might not be familiar with is the inclusion of advanced rocketry. So I believe I haven't. I was going to keep that wood. Haven't tried it yet, but that wasn't what I was going to put there. I believe you can only go to the moon at this stage. But there are some cool looking other dimensions that you can get to. Uh, I think we'll start with an X. Uh, from the moon. Uh, that you can only get to from the moon. Uh, some of these I've, I've played with before, some of them I have not. Uh, we'll have a look at the quest book in a moment. I just need to get a little bit of gear to get us started. So if you're wondering, you know, 
This looks like fun. How do I start in between games? Well, I'm playing on a server, so I went into the, the config folder in the server files and changed it. Uh, if you're playing single player, mod options, between lands, in your config, in your world and dimension, down the bottom here, uh, this one here, start in between lands, draw pulse. You can also start with a portal, but come on, if you can get a start in the between lands, you don't want the, the ease of just heading straight back to the overworld. You won't have to work for it. So you can get back to the overworld. You do have to do some exploring before you can do that, though. Okay, this is going to be a constant thing, isn't it? They're just going to keep coming over. That's fine. That's fine. You just slowly, slowly coming towards me. I don't mind. Right, I feel like we need some we need some dirt. This water is gonna be an issue. Let's get ourselves the best shovel in the game. A wooden shovel. I'm just gonna use this dirt. Just to reclaim a little bit of land. It's it's a little bit a little bit swampy. I mean, I know we're starting in a swamp. It's to be expected. But come on, that's, that's a bit much. Well, to begin with, yeah, I mean, normally you'd start with some mining, but normally you also wouldn't start in the between lands. So, let's do it. Let's go get some loot. I'm, I'm sure we're ready. Playing on hard mode. What could possibly go wrong? Instantly got something interesting happening over here. These guys are cool. These guys are really cool. These guys are not so cool. <laughs> Alright. You get close to these guys and they disappear. Which is unfortunate. But always nice to see them. Okay, so if we're gonna hang around here, I might grab... Yes some of this. And one thing we do have to watch out for is, is the gas cloud steep. Yep. Yep. Oh! Um, I never set my home point, did I? Let's do that. Let's, let's, let's set our home location. <laughs> Ooh, a snail. A delicious snail. We can eat those. Although, actually, with that sludge we got, we can breed them as well. Have a little snail farm going on. Now, which tree did I put? It was over there. Alright, alright. Not lost yet. Only almost. Only almost lost. Alright, this can be our, our torches. For now, you can eat them. Ah, but you do get nausea. Which, uh... Yeah, it makes it a bit hard to do anything. So, oh, look at that. Okay. Perfect. Now, let's get our stuff back. Because this time, this time it's gonna, it's gonna go our way. It's just hard mode, it's fine. No, we're not using our paper. There we go. Look at Got him. Now we're good. Now we're ready. Do have to be careful uh, in the marsh. There are, uh, that spawn in peat, uh, peat mummies. Which would, would not be a good time. Uh, that's, that's also not a good time. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, we need to take care of this guy pretty quick. Uh, if you don't kill him fast enough, they do that. If you don't kill him quickly, Become extremely difficult to hit. And we'll um, 
murder you from a distance. Alright. And of course, that just spawned one of them. Come here, come here, mate. Oh dear, oh dear. I got this, I got this. I got them. And look, we can build our house out of, out of ruins. Perfect, I got some good stuff there. Oh, that's, that's, that's not as good. Let's, let's eat some of our food. And hope we don't spawn another, we spawned another. Okay, alright. Just don't let them get close. We haven't got any armor yet. Okay, so those two weren't a good time. This one. This one's gonna be the one. That gave us some arrows, we don't have a bow yet. Okay, alright. That's fine. That's fine. Now do I, do I keep going? <laughs> we haven't set home. We have not set home. I mean, I felt like we could abandon our last house. We didn't have a lot there, let's be honest. It was, it was a crafting table. I think I can live without it. Nice. Nice. Oh, not so nice. Now there is a spawner over in these buildings. Well, there's a bunch of loot over here. Let's... It's sort of getting dark. Wow, what's up? Oh, this thing's all the way up there. That's cool. I don't know how well that's going to come through. Oh, it's pretty dark. Let's push our luck. Let's push our luck. What is the worst that could happen? Death, I suppose. Losing all our things. Having to travel all this way to get it. That's fine. Uh, we probably don't want to fall into the oil. That would be a bad time. We're not supposed to be here. Ah, uh, that's, that's oil. Uh, hmm. Ah, oh, now we're in mud. Ah, oh, that's... yep. Yep. That's a thing that's happening. Have a look at all this loot. Here we go. Ah, oh, no. That was... I didn't want to do that. Come on. Ah, oh, dear. We're stuck in the oil. Come on. Come on. Just a little bit... a little bit further. <sighs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Things are going well. We're off to a great start. We're conquering the Between Lands. Everybody is scared of us. They know that we're coming. Alright, now these pots, these are going to have... I mean, that's... That's better than nothing. We can make some torches. So, uh, we can... We can make a bucket. Apart from all the other bucket stuff we're missing. But this... This is going to be... That's not, oh, that's not going to be good. Don't see us, don't, he saw us. He saw us, he's coming. I can get taken. I can, I can get taken, just don't let him hit us. Do a lot more damage. Just keep him, keep him in the water. Fine, and he would have dropped an enchanted book. Nice. Is it a good one? book doesn't do anything by itself. You're gone. Ah, all right. Come on. Arrows. Nice. Uh, noticing a theme here. We've got a lot of arrows. I would like a bow. A bow to go with all these arrows. And some, some crystals. Yep. Not that useful right now. Another, another termite. Cool. This one. Nope. Nope. That's also... Nope. Stay over there. Yep. A uh, white's heart? I mean, that's, that's pretty cool. They're pretty useful. Not right now. Right now I'd appreciate... Like... Food. Food would be good. Come on, this one. I mean, we've got a, we've got a humorous achievement. Okay. All right. I think this is uh, proving to be a bit of a, a bit of a waste of time. I'm gonna be honest. 
a lot of risk for minimal reward. I mean, we got some porches there, that's pretty cool. Like, ah, oh, yeah. I mean, I'm definitely not going to live in the marsh. It's almost broken. Look at that drop. That's cool. Uh, that's pretty cool. But, alright. Let's. Let's find an actual place to live. Before it gets really dark, or we come across something that we can't handle. Because that hasn't already happened multiple times, like right now. This is this is this is quite hard. We got this. No, no, we're fine. My sword broke. Sword broke. I have a pickaxe. I have a pickaxe. Fine. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, we gotta. I, I want to do this. I'll explain this later. There's there's no time to explain. This good. Good things just happened. Alright, we're gonna run away now. There's some food. We're saved. We are saved. There is some more food. I mean, it's still alive, but not for long. More food. I'm not hungry, apparently. Okay. I don't want to live by the oil. That's cool over there. Got some more. Looks good. Thank you. I'll take take these. These are good food as well. Just really lower your expectations of food. That's good food. I imagine just random mushrooms and and some snail off the ground probably aren't the most delicious thing you would have ever eaten. Alright, alright. We're good, we're good. We got this. There's a nice tree. I live in this tree. Look, it's got a nice extra room there. Yep, this is us. Home sweet home. Whew. That was good. That was good. I, th I think that went well. I'm surprised we didn't die more, to be honest. Gee, if you're planning on, uh, or you're wanting to, rather, spice up your Minecraft experience, I highly recommend starting in the Between Lands. You'll love it, especially if you've never played it before. It's going to be a fun time. Um, I've played it a bit before, so I kind of know what to expect. Ah, uh, like I know that that creepy noise, that's fine, that's just a giant frog, you don't have to worry about him. And a chest. Oh yeah. Nice. And then we'll just... Pretend that never happened. Set our home point. So we can, uh, always teleport here if we get lost. And we're good. We're good. Everything is fine. Got a bit of a house going on. We've still got our lives. It's fine. Alright. What do we need to carry? Probably most of us. It's just, just all in there. And we'll, we'll figure it out later. We'll probably, we'll probably figure it out now. I want to keep the food. Sticks. That's, that's, that's handy. We might need more torches. Yeah, let's let's keep some wood. Uh, these are also torches. More food, why questionable. We can we can breed snails with this. This is this is handy. This we might need. It's it's pretty good. It's this decay bar here. Bad things happen if that gets low. Don't let that get low. That's the advice. All right, we can breathe. We're fine. What have we got? What's near our new house? Mud. Yep. Yep. yep that's that's mud. Maybe plenty of trees, like mushrooms, some snails, swamp. A million dollar views. Very good. Alright, I am going to uh, quickly just set up a little bit of a home base and we will be right back. Alright, 
we're back. We've got this this amazing starting house. Just wow. Look at that, we've got a nice poison ivy that's it's gonna grow down and damage us very soon. Got a starting point. Now we need to start uh, surviving in the between lands. So we're gonna need food. Now we have these snails. We have a snail. Is there more? What are these mushrooms? Hmm. Now, you can breed snails with these sludge balls. But if we're going to breed some snails, I think we want, we want some way to keep them from escaping. Is that the... that's a gate. Alright. Like a nice little snail snail area. I think I think this looks like a snail area. A little bit of mud. Would have had a plant, but I broke it. Um <clears throat> Yep. Brilliant little snail area. Wow, look at that. Who would not want to live there? Now if we just find a snail. There was one there was one hanging out over here. I saw it before. Where'd you go, mate? You wanna come? Yeah you do. See look, he loves it. He's like, yes, put me in a tiny cage. I hate having all this room. There's just mud and, and plants everywhere. I wanna live in a tiny, tiny paddock. Please, please farm me. Alright, come on, mate. You're almost there. Yep, he, he doesn't care about the mud. And there we go. Safe. Safe now. No one is going to hurt him. Except for me when I get hungry. That's fine. Now, I reckon a little a little bridge. Quite useful here. Look at that. Wow. That's some architecture. That rumbling means I spent too much time building my house, and now I'm not going to be able to see anything. Let's grab some food, let's some of this reed, what we can. There we go. And I think, I think instead we're going to do some mining rather than some exploring. Oh, there goes a snail. Come on, mate. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's some mud. Come on, mate. How would all of you guys... Wow, look at that. That's that's brilliant. We're going to have the best... The best... Snail farm in the building. Possibly the only snail farm. Therefore the best. Yep, just uh, come over here. There's a little, uh, little lag going on there. It's fine, you just ooh, gotta get over there at some stage. No, oh, not now. I think that would be a bad idea. Get you're you're almost there. Just a little bit further. Yeah, yeah, you want some, some sludge, don't you? Well, I've I've brought you some friends. Single file, single file guys. One and oh, brilliant. And now We got a little snail egg. That's a frog. I I was I was scared. Yep, you probably don't need that there. A lovely little snail farm. Uh yeah, so this is why we're not gonna be exploring, because it's dark. It's dark. Instead, let's uh do some mining. Um I suspect that there's not just going to be a nice cave right here. How would you like to watch me digging straight down? Seeing not a lot. Like the next five minutes. Does that sound cool? Yeah, I don't think so. I'll, uh, I'll cut some of this out and we will be back when we find 
something interesting. Alright guys, we're back. Uh, probably could have just waited. It was a cave instantly. Which is very nice. Uh, let's, let's not rush into things. I mean, you know, if I start being careful now, things have gone pretty well so far. Now what we're looking for here is more of a cave. Nice. Ah, this. Bones. Now you might be thinking to yourself, why do you want bones? Well, let me tell you. If we want to mine this stuff, we need bones. We need to make a bone pickaxe. Um, oh. Well, you know, a little bit of sulfur. That's... I almost fell. Oh. A little bit of sulfur. Did I just make a mistake? No, I've got wood. We're fine. For a second there, I thought I'd just broken my, my only pickaxe. What is that? Oh dear. oh dear. Oh dear. I did not want to break that. Okay, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. We're gonna, we're gonna run away. We're gonna live. We are going to live. And you know what? You know what? We're fine. We don't need to do any mining. We can just... Just come hang out. We can just come hang out in the house. In the house for a bit. We've got some, we got some housework to do. <sighs> I, I did not mean to do that. I was trying to eat it. Oh, look at that. We're, we're winning. We're winning. We just got two extra hearts. Um... You know, and we can make our first, uh, our first machine. Now look at this, beauty. this, this thing. So much better than a furnace. Put stuff in it, put stuff in it. It cooks it, it doesn't cook that, but it, it cooks other things. Like... Like none of the things that we have, but it, it cooks things, trust me. But, pro tip. You don't even want that one. You want something twice as good as that. I want a double furnace. Look at that, you come here for the good information. For the information you can't get anywhere else. Look at that. Our first machine. It's incredible. I know you're, you're all very impressed. In fact, that's a good place to wrap up. This has been the first episode. It's been fun. I've had fun. We've died a little bit. We're definitely going to die some more. This is the Betweenlands. It is awesome. See you guys next time.